Hello everyone, I'm Tiffany and welcome to Tiffany Stitchery YouTube channel. One thing I want to mention is I just discovered today that I have 80 subscribers. 80! That's a lot. I mean for me, yeah, it's small potatoes in YouTube world, but for me that's a lot of people and thank you so much if you're one of those subscribers. Um, I really appreciate it because it, it helps build the channel. It is now the end of September and <sighs> Halloween is fast approaching. This happens to me every year. Every year it sneaks up on me. So what have I been doing lately? Um, let's see, July we moved from California to Colorado. And that's been kind of an adjustment for everyone in my family. We went from a little tiny place with a big storage unit outside. And so that was filled with all of my extra sewing machines and fabric. So now we moved into an apartment that does not have that. So we're trying to adjust everything and find clever ways of storing fabric bins in the living room. <laughs> yeah, it's not pretty. Going so, through a lot of my fabric and um, my supplies, my sewing supplies, I need to sell it. And I'm going to be showcasing some things here because I feel like it's, I'm not getting a lot of traffic over on Etsy. But I feel like if I kind of show people things here, maybe that'll help me get some sales over there. Plus, uh, I'm going to be giving out a coupon code for my viewers to use on my things that I'm showing you today. The things I'm going to show you today are aprons. Some aprons that I have made in the past that I'm going to be selling off and I'm going to give you a really good discount. So I'm going to be showing you them and I will put them on so you can see what they look like. Okay. So first of all, I do have a, a video uh, of me making an apron and I'm going to put a little link in the cards on this video so you can go watch that. And I want to talk about why. Why should you want an apron or why should you want to make one? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, first of all, I love aprons number one because they remind me of my grandma's um, they're nostalgic whenever I put one on I am reminded of all the delicious foods that my grandma's used to make and the way that their their homes smelled during the holidays and it just it brings back this warm feeling and that's one reason why I really love aprons but when you're a new sewist, learning to make aprons is really great for the beginner. They can be from very, very simple and easy, like one piece of fabric, you don't even need pockets, and you could put, you know, ribbons or ropes or whatever you can find, a shoestring, to use for your ties. It can be that simple, or it could be very, very elaborate with a whole bunch of pockets, and ruffles and a long waist tie that can go to the front to make a bow. You can do fancy buttons for attaching your uh, neck strap. It's up to you. You can go crazy with aprons. And um, no one really cares. They're not like part of fashion or anything. You know, you can wear a kooky crazy apron with, um, you know, donuts all over it or whatever and make it fun and then protect your clothing well that should be number one I should have listed that number one but you know anyways oh another reason um, they're customizable you can make the the neck strap however you want uh, you can make the bibs larger uh, smaller you can make a half apron or a whole apron you know they're so much fun to customize, to be uh, unique and creative, to represent you. Or if you're making it for someone else, you know, it could represent 
that person. And uh, the last thing I can think of that makes aprons great um, is they don't always have to use a lot of fabric. You can use up all your scraps from other projects and it can, you can use different fabrics. You can combine cottons with denim, with lace and ribbons and buttons and you can do so many uh, different things. So now I'm going to show you some of these aprons behind me that I made in the past and these are going to be on sale on my Etsy shop. So if you like one, you better hurry up and go get it because I only have nine, nine aprons. I also wanted to show you the shirt that I'm wearing. Uh, this pattern is a green style creations green tea. I did do a modification on the sleeve. I didn't do a hem. I did a, uh, why can't I think of this? I did a rolled hem or a lettuce edge on my sleeve just for something different. And, uh, can you see the graphic? I have to try to like, uh, <laughs> the lighting is making it cause this is like a foil one. There we go. Here we go says, yes, I am that witch. <laughs> this is a graphic from Thread and Grain. You can find that one on Facebook. Uh, and the pattern is Green Style Creations, the green tea. So there we go. All right, here is number one. This is a half apron, ties in the back. And it has these big pockets that I have put, this is a vintage lace, and I did an, an applique on the pockets. See that? And it has this Sugar Skull Dia de los Muertos main fabric. And this is just a pink and green, well it's pink with green flowers. They're kind of like doily shape. Okay, that's a ruffle. It's number one. Okay, here is apron number two. It's another little half apron. And this is a Halloween print. It has this graveyard scene in gray. And it does have some glitter in it. And it's a cute little graveyard scene. It's not too spooky. And it has this cute little purple with black cats, round little pockets with some silver ribbons embellishing. And this is a half apron with some, some ruffle at the bottom, ties in the back. There we go. That's number two. All right, this is number three. This is another Halloween apron. The main fabric is an orange spider web with glittery spiders that says boo. Very cute. And the accent fabric is this gray and black glitter bats. And I put some black lace here and here on this pocket. Now this is a divided pocket, half moon size, and it also has a ruffle made with the black and gray glitter bats, and the ties, ties in the back, and the shoulder strap is adjustable. I've made it with the plastic rings here, so you can make it looser or tighter. And this one's fully lined and lined it with black, okay, to protect your clothing a little better. This one would be great for, you know, someone who's going to bake some Halloween cookies and hang out with your kids and maybe you don't want to get dressed up. Maybe you just want to put this on for handing out trick-or-treat candy. This would be great. Keep all your candy in. All right, here is apron number four. This is one of my favorites. Come closer. The main fabric 
is black in the background with these glitter swirls and it has witchy hats and witchy shoes and little bats so cute and i paired it with this purple swirly fabric and that's what i've made the uh, neck straps with now if you can look closer i'm gonna take the strap off I'll show you I made fabric covered buttons and this strap is adjustable so if you're taller you need it a little bit longer come on go in there. then you'll just have these pretty little buttons popping out look at that how cute and this is a full apron with a divided pocket in the front this has some black bias binding on the edge of the pocket and I've made a pleated ruffle with the purple swirly fabric also with some black on the edge so it's very witchy poo very cute purple and black with little witchy poo accents this is what you need for Halloween girl mm-hmm all right, here is apron number five, another Halloween print. This is a work style apron. It's a full size, ties in the back. And the main fabric is this cute little purple Halloween candy with glitter and cupcakes, little vampire cakes. Look at that, how cute. And the accent fabric is this orange with black polka dots and the uh, neck strap on this one has the D rings so it is adjustable okay nice big front pocket and it has two big pockets here in the side for you know whatever you want to carry your cell phone whatever all right this is number six and this one is very like retro style um, has a smaller bib and this is a witchy poo Halloween print cute little retro witches on there flying through the night and I just love the swirly background of the sky so I paired it with this black and orange dot fabric this also has cute little circular pockets with some ribbon accents and there is a thick ruffle down at the bottom made of black and the orange polka dot. This one ties in the back and it also ties on the neck. Okay, this is a retro style. All right, this is going to be apron number seven and eight. And I have the help of my lovely assistant here. This is Miss Abby. Abby normal and I've made two aprons very similar so I'm showing them at the same time and I'm also showing you how they would fit a plus size person and also a thinner person alrighty same size these are same size aprons and they both have these utility pockets here nice big divided pockets in the front and a uh, like a pen pouch or maybe your cell phone small enough can fit in there and it also has the big one here and it is adjustable here on the neck see I patterned or modeled these uh, this style after the ones that I used to have to wear working for Joanne fabrics I think they've since changed the style of apron they wear but this is where I got the idea because I always needed a little pen pocket when I was working there. Or I would put my scissors right here. And then this was for like, you know, papers and stuff. And there you have it. Okay, this is the last one, number nine. This is my I Love Lucy apron. This one is actually the one that is in the how to sew an apron video 
I think it's super cute. It has these little heart-shaped pockets with the rickrack on it. And the bib here has rickrack. And this one is actually a convertible apron. It goes from being a full size to, <laughs> wait for it, half apron. Check that out, see? So, and then this, these little buttons here, you could uh, maybe hang something from it. Maybe you could put a loop on your dish towel and hang it right here. And just put little button holes there. And just put it back on. See? There we go. And this neck strap ties right there. See? So, that's the last one. Alrighty, so there is my showcase of aprons that are going to be for sale on my Etsy shop. There will be a link in the uh, description for that. And there is the coupon code that I'm going to put right here, I think. Okay, so get that coupon code and you put that in during, you know, at checkout when you buy the apron, okay? And you will get uh, 25, 25% off. Yeah. Please go buy one. And that will help to support my uh, need for new fabric so I can make myself some new clothes, so I can make some new videos to show you guys. Please. Let me know what you think. Give me some positive feedback. Hurry up and go use that coupon because it's only going to be good till the end of October 2018. I'm going to go till Halloween. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. And I appreciate you so much. If you're one of my subscribers, thank you. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. It really helps me to build my channel. And it helps me keep motivated to do this stuff. Um, please leave a comment. If there's something you'd like to see, let me know. If you want me to do any special kind of sewing tutorial or technique then please leave it in the comments all right thank you so much thanks for watching happy fall guys